Bob's about to ask out his crush, but he hasn't spoken to her and has been a year. Bob is trembling. Ooh, she can smell the loser in him. Damn, who rejected him as well and laughed at him. Now Bob is crying in his bed like a little insignificant rat. Imagine Gojo popped onto the scene. It wouldn't take him a year to have the balls to ask a girl out. Nah, he would have done it in a matter of minutes. If he liked her, he took her. He would be smooth, the pinnacle of riz. Then the next thing you know, he wiped her up. And that's the difference between a man like Gojo and the man like Bob. And the difference between a man like Gojo and a man like Bob is the level of confidence. And this difference can be seen everywhere. Like if you had to stand up to authority, you would crumble under pressure. But Gojo, hell no, nah. he wouldn't crumble. Look here, Gojo finds himself under fire from a bunch of stuffy, high-ranking jujitsu sorcerers and the old scruffy man. Then they start questioning him about his methods and decisions. Like they think they're the boss of the goat or something. But does Gojo back down? No way. With a cool and confident smirk, he faces them head on. He's like, hey, listen up. My teaching method is cold and you old hags get out of my way. Gojo doesn't stop there. He's got the guts to challenge the old school jujitsu sorcerer way of thinking. He's all like, you man can relax. Times are changing. We need to bend the rules a little bit here. And you know what? His bold words actually start making sense. Those stuffed old hags. Gojo's charisma and unwavering belief in his ideas work like a charm. He's got the authority figures like the head teacher nodding their heads like, hmm, this guy might be on something. This scene is a prime example of Gojo's confidence. He's a captivating and influential figure who's not afraid to challenge the status quo. And he does it all while making us laugh with his fearless attitude and his clever comebacks. Why is he that confident but you aren't you can't go to your boss and put a leash on him it's simple really you are replaceable gojo is a supreme being which is the strongest in the verse and looks down on everyone as insignificant replaceable beings but he knows he's not replaceable his limitless curse technique and six eyes technique make him one of the strongest characters in the series do you think the old man can or wants to lock him away in some prison absolutely not but what about us joshmo what can we do well be the best at your job be the best in the friend group be the best at business. Because right now, you're easy to replace. Hence, the solution is simple. If you're a salesman, level up, make the most sales. If you're an editor, make the best videos. Within friendships and business, provide irreplaceable values. Be the guy that people come to with all their problems and you have the solutions. Because this gives you unrivaled confidence where you can walk into a room with your head held high. Another thing is, his past shows his value. Your past is you eating Doritos while playing League in a dark room. But Gojo? Nah, my man has accomplished feats. Picture this, Gojo is facing off against a powerful bunch of curses during the Shibuya Ark incident. It's like the ultimate battle for power. Gojo becomes a force to be reckoned with. He's dodging attacks like he's dancing, countering with precision, speed and strategy. It's like he's saying, curses, huh? You got nothing on me. And guess what? Gojo wipes the floor with those curses, turning their power into mere child's play. And you know what? Each win is like a medal on his chest, reminding him that he's got what it takes to overcome any challenge. It's like he's saying, hey, I have beaten all the biggest baddest doing? curses before and I can do it again. Therefore, take a page out of Gojo's book. If you want a track record of epic wins like his, wouldn't you feel like you could conquer the world? But if you don't, here's the deal. Start doing something you're proud of today. Set goals, work hard, and make those victories your own. Build up your own arsenal of achievements that will make you stand tall and confident. And now, here's the final thing. The man is dressed well. Come on, I can't lie. Most men have a decent fashion sense, but what is good fashion if it's sat on an unfit frame? And honestly, some of you guys don't have the best frame. Look how nicely clothes fit onto Gojo. He looks handsome. He looks charming. He looks like he will take your girl. Oh, dang, that one hits hard. So go to the gym, aim for a good physique, and yes, it takes time. But it's possible, all you need to do is aim for a low body fat percentage, around 11 to 12%, and decent muscularity. This will make anything, even if you wear the most cringy thing, and look good. And finally, let's wrap it up. Basically, what I'm saying is, work towards a future where you provide value to people. Start learning about anything where you can help people. And with confidence, you need a tiny bit of charisma, and you will go a long way.